This video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and finally welcome back for like another little home updates type video. I haven't done one of these in a while and there's been quite a few changes. We've had some deliveries, I've gone a little bit overboard on the homeware shopping so I think about halfway through this video there's going to be like a big old homeware haul um, of just bits that I've kind of like picked up here and there. I've been to like B&M, The Range, The White Company. We also had a bit of a failed trip to HomeSense. I won't lie, they're not the best at the moment. I think I touched on that later. Um, they might be different now because we did go a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera today and update you guys on some things around the house. I have already filmed most of the clips for this video. I've just got a couple more things to kind of add to the end, but I, for some reason, hadn't introed it. So this is me just saying hi, kind of telling you what you can expect from the video. But if you're new here, I recently moved house. I've been documenting the entire thing on my channel so there are loads of previous videos to this one i will leave every single one linked down below if you want to go and catch up but if you do enjoy this one then please feel free to hit subscribe there will be more in the future we are planning on renovating this house quite a lot and yeah i've just been kind of keeping you all updated and bringing you along on the journey which has been really fun so far from what i can remember we're going to start this video off in the lounge area so in the lounge we have had a little switch around in here but this side of the room is all still the same i'm actually thinking very soon i'm going to move this all over to the center and get rid of some of these plants like just put them in other rooms and stuff um i've been saying for the longest time that there are too many in here i don't really love the look of this anymore so i do want to switch it up a bit but i basically only put these pictures here because the previous owners had picture hooks on the wall, so they were literally like the first things I put up. They obviously don't have to stay there, so I think soon I'm gonna put the picture hooks in the middle here, and then just move the whole thing along so it's a little bit more centered. We've also got some clutter over there that we need to sort out, but I'll probably get around to that today. And then the switch around that we've had is this side of the room. So if you guys have seen the previous vlogs, you will know that the sofa was basically this way round so the back was across that wall and then the other back went across this wall but if you saw the last moving vlog I went through all of the architects plans with you guys and basically this wall is going to come completely out and it will all be glass with like a double glass door in the middle because we're going to have a dining room built out there just in case you didn't see that video that is what we're planning on doing so we wanted to see what it would be like kind of set up this way so when you are kind of sat in the dining room you're not just looking at the back of a sofa and I do quite like this I just think we are definitely going to replace this sofa anyway we want to get some like I think individual ones we might get one across there one across here and then maybe two armchairs for there so if you're then sitting in the dining room again you're not looking at the back of a sofa I know it'll be the back of chairs but obviously where they're separate you can still see the rest of the room if that makes sense so I don't know we definitely need to do a bit of planning with this but we've done this for now like I say I do really like it it just makes it really cozy and kind of like cordons off this area of the room but there's a few things in here that I don't think I've actually showed you guys yet so I've had so many questions on this little setup on our foot store on my Instagram because I keep kind of posting this because it's literally what I do every morning I come down light this little white company candle sit here put the tv on and that is me set for the day I don't know why but I've been loving working in this room at the moment. I just love the vibe of it. It's very chilled. The heating's on. I stick the fire on as well. Like, it's just so nice working in here. But yeah, this setup that we have in the middle. So the tray is from HomeSense. This is obviously from The White Company. This is the fireside candle. I've honestly had this, like not even a month and I feel like I need a new one so I need to stop burning that as much and then this is also from the white company it's literally just their sleep lotion so it just smells like a spa it smells amazing but I thought I'd keep it in here and then I got this reed diffuser from next we have one of these in the kitchen and I've had that one for a long time now so it doesn't smell as strong now I think I just need to get a refill for it so I just thought I'd get another one for in here because I do really love how these look again they're quite like sleek and it's obviously like a little white pot just looks really cute in here and then this vase is from H&M and this is where I feel like I've not shown you guys all the stuff that I got from there but like I say I did get it such a long time ago so I'm not sure why you've probably seen these everywhere anyway they're just like the donut type vases and then I got these little dried flowers which I am so in love with at the moment my new obsession is dried flowers I want them all over the house I'm not loving like green plants as much I know that sounds silly but I don't know how much I love them together. Like in here, I do want to go for this more kind of neutral vibe. And I just think having the green, like especially of that plant in the background, I'm not sure I love how it goes 
with the neutral tones of these. I don't know, it kind of works, but I did actually get some pampas grass from the same place. Currently got that in my office, so I will show you that in a sec, because I just love how it looks in the background of content at the moment. But yeah, these were from Etsy. I honestly was looking for so long for any type of dried flowers. Like, I don't know why, I was just being quite particular with the ones that I like the look of. And I kept seeing loads recommended, but in the end I just sat through um, Etsy and scrolled for ages and then found this really good seller. They arrived super quickly, they were packaged really really nicely, like nothing is damaged at all and yeah I'll leave them linked down below because I was super super impressed with them and they weren't crazy expensive. They are a little bit of an investment because obviously they do pretty much last for like well over a year so definitely don't expect to find any for like super cheap but yeah I'm really happy with these so I just popped them in the little donut vase and that is kind of what the setup on the footstool is. <laughs> these candles which I'm so in love with they are so sweet these are from I think I mentioned them in my clean with me actually but these are from the seashell company and they're basically little tea lights but in oyster shells and a really lovely girl that I went to school with has actually set up this company so I love the fact that it's a little small business but obviously from somebody I know as well and I love them I think they're such a cute little added detail like to a table layout or something you could obviously use them to decorate anywhere but they're a little bit different I've not really seen anything like this and I thought they were sweet so I haven't burnt them yet I don't think I am gonna burn them to be honest I just really like how they look kind of paired with this little setup then I do have the these flowers here which I was very kindly sent from Arista Living so thank you guys so much for these if you are watching they are the guys that we got our guest bed from and so many of you guys always message me saying that you've just used my code to get like 50% off your bed which is so incredible so yeah huge shout out to Arista here for just sending me these to say thanks for all your work I appreciate you guys so much honestly on that note if you do want to get yourself 50% off a bed then my code is just emily50 and it is valid forever basically like it's just an ongoing code so yeah that is a rooster living i'll leave them tagged down below in the description and then i think the only other thing that we got in here is these little kind of pot stands so these i feel like i've showed you i honestly can't remember what i've showed you and not so i'm really sorry if i'm repeating myself here but the actual plant pot is from made.com and then these little planters are also from made so we had the intention of putting these outside but i said to brad like they are a metal frame with like a metal pot inside but i feel like because they're metal they'll just rust and like weather really badly so maybe they won't and maybe they're i'm assuming they're probably coated because they are made to go outside so i guess if you did want to then i'm sure they wouldn't rust because yeah surely they're like built to not anyway that probably doesn't make any sense but yeah they're from made.com we're thinking that we're actually gonna use them for like indoor plants obviously i've just stuck this one in there for now but i think i might put some soil in and then add like little succulents and do like a little kind of arrangement in there um i don't know i just think it could be cute because then we've got well we've got this one here which is also from made.com which i've just what brad repotted my office plant into and that is now thriving and then over here is where the other little planter is so again i think this might be quite cute with soil in and then like i was even thinking some cactuses like a cactus here and then like a little succulent and then like a mini cactus or something i don't know i've got some ideas for this i might try and find something on pinterest and see what we can do um but i wanted to put this one in brad's man den like do the cactus thing and then put it up there because i think it would look really nice but we're not sure if we've got much more space in there so i don't know where it would go just popping in here to tell you guys a little bit more about squarespace they are very kindly sponsoring today's video but i have spoken about them on a pretty regular basis for a few months now just to basically remind you guys that they are a website building platform that is perfect if you are interested in starting up a blog anytime soon i know a lot of people have been getting into it recently and i've been following quite a few amazing like home blogs that i've been loving so just in case you are interested in something like that i thought i'd mention it to you because everything is super customizable it's very very easy to follow like everything is pretty much step by step and they have very kindly given me a discount for you guys so if you click the link in the description and use the code emily full pot that will get you 20 percent off your first domain purchase but yeah back to the vlog so i have you very precariously balanced on the tv which probably isn't the best idea but um speaking of brad's man den i need to go up there and show you guys the sofa because i guess that is like one of the biggest deliveries and the biggest changes we've had to the house or at least to that room um there was a slight issue with it so basically i think i mentioned it on my stories i don't think i've told a vlog at all yet but i just put brad in charge of that i was like oh you can just like choose this over at your room like get whatever you want and he promised me he'd like measured everything like measured how we'd get it up there how it would fit oh my god this thing arrived i don't think i've ever seen a bigger sofa in my actual life 
Um, this one I thought was pretty big, but in comparison, that one is just like probably double the size, honestly. Yeah, it got delivered and apparently the delivery man kind of looked at the sofa, looked at the stairs and was like, there is absolutely no way we're going to be able to get that up the stairs. So they literally left um, and didn't like take the sofa back or anything. Because Brad is one of those people where he's so, like if something doesn't fit, he'll force it. Like, he is just, does not take no for an answer, which I love about him sometimes, but then sometimes I'm like, you got to just admit defeat and just, some things just don't work out, but we've made it work as expected and it's all fine. But yeah, when I got home, it was just in the lounge and I was like, why is the sofa here? Like, I swear they were gonna, all of the delivery men, like, help you build whatever it is, or they take it upstairs, like, if you need to take it anywhere. And I was just confused as to why that hadn't happened. And then brother's like, it was just too big. Like, there was no way they could do it. He was, like, stuck into work, so he couldn't help them. And, yeah, long story short, we then just had Brad's mum and dad come over and try and help us get up the stairs. We had to take, like, the ends off the longest part and then try and just get that bit up the stairs at least. And we couldn't, like, on our own. It's so heavy. So we got Brad's mum and dad over and they tried to help us. And we were basically just trying to force this one piece up the stairs and it was just not happening and um, we've now got a massive hole in the bottom of our stairs there was marks all up the wall like it was just a whole thing we were honestly trying for like two hours and there was just no way so we then tried to get it through the window that's on the landing like on the, on the actual stairs we were trying to get it through a window and that was not happening we couldn't get the window out so there wasn't enough room like honestly guys it's a whole thing and then in the end we got somebody else over to try and get the window out in Brad's Manden, which is bear in mind on the second floor. So we were now thinking that we're just gonna have to put it through that window. Like there's, there was no other way we were gonna get it in the room. So yeah, we're on the second floor. We have a platform outside, like as in a little scaffolding thing outside. We've got Brad's granddad over, Brad's dad, his brother, um, all trying to help us just get this thing in the window. And yeah, we got somebody else over to take the window out because we needed literally like this much more space. Brad's granddad then had to cut a bit of the window out anyway because when I'm telling you that sofa is exactly the same size as that window, I'm not exaggerating, like they are exactly the same dimension. So even though we then kind of got it up there and got it in the window, it then had to be like shoved through because it was just like it, it fit the window. It was just a nightmare. I'm not sure, I feel like I filmed a clip of them like on the platform because bearing in mind they were like again on the second floor brad and his granddad literally had this piece of sofa on their head like trying to balance it so the other guys could put it through the window um probably wasn't the safest thing but we're all fine granddad owns like a bathroom and kitchen place so he's used to problem solving let's say um so yeah that was it that is how we got it in it then kind of had like a massive scrape across the front of it where it like obviously gone along the paint um, but it's fine we've managed to scrub that off and you literally can't see it now so it's not too damaged but we've got everything else up the stairs put it all together and we are literally gonna have to sell the sofa with the house like I'm not even kidding there's no way we're gonna get that out of the house again so we're either gonna have to sell it with the house or cut it up and take it wherever we go next and put it back together when we get there they are the only solutions we can think of, but I'm going to take you guys up there now after that massive ramble. I just kind of wanted to explain the situation because it just wasn't the right time to get my camera out and start like shoving it in people's faces, if that makes sense. Like we were all a little bit stressed um, trying to get this thing up there. So yeah, I thought I would just tell you about it rather than film the actual ordeal. But yeah, let's go up there now and you can see the final product, which is worth it. It was very worth it. Right, so going up the stairs, I might as well show you guys the damage that it did on its way up. So we have this really lovely mark here. This is obviously going to be fixed, by the way. Um, I think Brad's uncle is going to come and paint the hallway finally because that is a job that I say in every vlog and I never do. So this is the colour that we're going for. Um, and I think he's going to come and do the hallway and like all the way up the stairs. So it will get fixed. But yeah, we've got like all scuffs down here, which to be fair, there was quite a few anyway. You can obviously see like scuffs everywhere, but it's not horrendous. So basically you have to kind of get up to this level and then bam, <laughs> this is the most damage that we did. Oh my God, it's actually so bad. So basically, this happened when they kind of got the sofa, like, so say this is the piece of the sofa, they got it from, like, down here, and then they tilted it to bring it up this way, and then they needed to stand it up straight to then, like, be able to bring it up this way, so when they stand it up straight, it literally just went straight through the ceiling like that, and yeah, 
that's what we're left with so that is obviously something we need to fix but this is literally just like plasterboard um so it shouldn't be too much of an issue and then obviously this can all be painted as well so that is our little reminder of the fact that we tried to get like a 12 foot sofa up this tiny staircase <laughs> we have a couple more marks here from getting the other bits up but here is the final product that is so worth it i have not tidied this room at all so I'm very sorry about that. A little bit of reality here, but let me quickly tidy this, put it all together nicely, and then you guys will actually be able to see it in its full potential. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, I don't know if these are way too bright. We still haven't found any dimmer bulbs for these lights, so we need to change them ASAP because they are very blinding when you're sat in here. But now you can obviously see the sofa so much better. So this is the size of it. Maybe I'll set you guys down here and I'll go and sit on it so you can actually gauge a bit of an idea of what we're kind of dealing with here. So this is me, five foot six. This is me on the sofa. I look like a pea. It is huge. Like I say, literally probably the biggest sofa I've ever seen. Never seen anything like it. Bit of an effort to get off, I won't lie. <laughs> But yeah, it's just set back so deep, which is so relaxing. It's so comfortable to sit on when you're watching a movie. So we have had multiple movie nights in here now. We've obviously got the popcorn machine, which I'll show you guys in a sec if you haven't seen that. Um, but it's just great. It was such a great investment. You can fit so many people on here. It has these really nice arms to it. So they're super thick. So again, I really like um, working in here sometimes. I just kind of set my laptop up, to be fair. That's my corner. I've claimed it. Does anybody else claim a corner or a certain seat? of a sofa because we definitely do this camera is kind of giving it like a weird color but it is like a really deep dark blue maybe if i turn these off again so this is the kind of color that it is it's very very dark obviously in the sunlight it looks a little bit lighter but it is like that typical ink dark blue and it goes so nicely with the color that brad went for on the walls so that's why we wanted to keep it kind of all the same but we were debating whether to go for a black sofa to match these walls but i'm glad we've gone for the blue it just adds something a little bit different so when you do all of this you can also choose like your scatter cushion so we chose one black one i think two three gray ones so we have three of these like kind of lighter gray and then three of the same color as the sofa it definitely was worth the process of getting it in the window like i say as much as it was stressful this is where we've kind of like cut the window out you guys can probably see so this chunk had to come out because literally that is the amount of space that we needed so we needed literally like four centimeters more to actually be able to get it in so we need to get that fixed at some point um but otherwise this is the window that that sofa came through how insane is that? Like, it does not seem possible. So yeah, the rest of the room really hasn't changed an awful lot. We've still got the TV up here, Sonos bar, coffee table. He needs to change all of this. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to get. But then the popcorn machine and, like, the kind of drinks and food area, which I'm loving. This is my favourite part of the room. Um, we've got the popcorn machine on this little table, which I think I mentioned in this haul um, that is coming up in the vlog, but I didn't actually show you guys. So that is what it is. It was actually like £12, £15 from B&M. It's just like a little gold-legged table and that works perfectly for the popcorn machine. And then here's mini fridge with the drinks and stuff. Again, that probably needs topping up. It's looking a little bit empty at the moment, but then on top we just have random things and most importantly, the popcorn little holders. That again, have been used multiple times in this room. And then also the cactus. So I'm thinking that little plant pot that I showed you downstairs, like the long one, could potentially go across here and we could actually plant this cactus in it and have like that on one side and then a little succulents, like I say, and then another little cactus. I don't know. Like I say, I'm going to have a look on Pinterest and see what I can find. But that, I suppose, is the update for this room. Not too much is different. Obviously, this is the biggest addition, but I thought I'd just show you guys anyway. I'm filming this bit quite far in advance to the video that you're watching. So I'm not sure what I've just said, but hopefully I've said something like, now we're going to cut to me giving you a little homeware haul because that is what I'm about to do. I thought I would just really quickly run you through a load of like super random things that I've been picking up recently. I've got no structure to this. Everything is from different places. I've basically just grabbed a load of things over time and forgotten to kind of show you guys. And I will of course link everything down below if there's anything you like the look of. But like I say, there's no structure, there's no order. It's all very random. I'm just literally gonna grab what is closest to me. So starting with this, <laughs> very random. Um, I actually grabbed two of these. So I think they come in a set. So you get like a bigger one and a smaller one. And they're just little baskets from made.com. I think that's where they're from. And I thought they'd be nice in the bathroom because when we get our bathroom done, I want to have kind of like 
all black accessories in there so I'm thinking like glass whites and black like matte black like this so I thought I could just put some towels or something in here for storage or just anything really obviously baskets are super handy but yeah there's this one and then a larger one as well then maybe I'll move on to some Ava May stuff so I actually did a massive order recently and then they very kindly reached out to me and asked if they could send me some things to kind of review but my mum has loved them for ages and I've always like followed them and everything obviously because of Mrs Hinch I've just been obsessed with them but I've never actually got around to making an order so I did the other day and I got one of their new reed diffusers I did grab a few other things so I'll go through those as well but this is the one that I went for I think this is the biggest size that they do but it's basically this kind of like pear drop design I want to say and then it literally just has their new logo embossed into it I love these I think they look so stylish and they also do have like a much smaller one which is a little circle I want to say like a little ball and it is very cute but I thought I'd go for the bigger one because I have this in the lounge and I wanted to make sure it would fill the entire room with the scent which it definitely does these are so strong like almost to the point where I wasn't sure if it was a bit too strong so if you do have a smaller room I would say go for the smaller one but if you do have large rooms where you want to fill them with the scent then definitely go for this one it's literally perfect you can also choose which reach you want I just went for black because I think it goes really nice with the white but yeah that's the first thing from Ava May that I picked up I think I got this in spring awakening I want to say can't remember exactly what scent but I'll write it down below with the link to this one sorry if the angles changed a bit it was a little bit wonky so I've just sorted that out but my mum actually gave me one of these when we first moved in she bought a wax burner from them so this of course is Ava May but this is one of their double ones which I don't think they have on the website at the moment but again these are amazing for slightly larger rooms because they actually have two little sections where you can put wax melts so you then just put two little tea lights underneath and it just has so much more of a stronger scent which again is great for the lounge area honestly with this at the moment i haven't needed to burn anything because this stinks in like a good way i'm not sure if they're going to restock it but i will link it and hopefully they will but when i was on there ordering the other stuff i decided to pick myself up one so i just got this one this is just one of their like really simple kind of designs and you can just pop these bowls on the top you can actually get different colors if you want but I liked it all the same kind of colour. I've actually had this in Brad's Man Den. And then I also bought some wax melts. So I'll run you through those scents quickly. So I think I gave one of the packets to Nick. So I gave one to Brad's mum already. And I think that one might have been Linen Fresh, I want to say. No, because that's this one. So I think I gave her the Spring Awakening scent, which is just like really fresh. But the other ones I went for are the Zaflora Linen Fresh. So that is this one here. And then we have C, which is inspired by the Giorgio Armani perfume, which I personally wear. And this smells exactly like it so I love that and then finally I got the Earl Grey and Cucumber Hannah who owns the brand always says this is her favorite and it's not like off the sound of it it's not a scent that I would choose to go for but because she recommended it so many times I thought I'd give it a go and I really like this I have this one in the kitchen and I think it's a really nice scent for like downstairs like I don't know why but I feel like you have certain scents for certain rooms so I personally have this C1 in my office because it's very girly like very feminine and then the Earl Grey and Cucumber I just feel like it's very neutral it's just a nice scent to kind of walk into when you come into someone's house so yeah highly recommend this it smells incredible and then the final thing that I got from Ava May is one of their rechargeable um like lighter things this is one of those electric ones I don't know if you've seen these but you basically push it up and it has like, I want to say like an electric current running through it. And that's how you light the candles. My mum's had one of these for ages, but not the Ava May one. So I thought I'd give this a go. You literally just recharge it. And so far, so good. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Ava May. And then Brian and I actually took a trip to Cambridge the other day because we wanted to go to Home Sense. Now... I'm not gonna lie I was very disappointed I feel like right now they're in that transitional period of like they're just about to buy their Christmas stock but they still have loads of other stock to get rid of so they're kind of I feel like you guys are super high up and I don't know why is that better I hope that's better um but yeah they're just like kind of in between seasons so they're not buying new stock in yet so it just felt like it was everything that was kind of left so it wasn't the best experience but I did find a couple of things the first things being these two little baskets now again I got these for the bathroom because I'm sure actually maybe in this video I'll probably speak you through the bathroom plans in this one you're watching maybe I already have maybe I am about to I don't know but once the bathroom is done we're hopefully going to have like massive double sinks and it's potentially going to be like just a big kind of white unit 
hopefully it makes sense i will include pictures so it makes a lot more sense to you guys but i'm thinking these on either side like a his and hers type sink scenario these would look really cute they're just kind of like a wooden effect with a little basket thing inside i thought with all of our beauty bits and stuff in these would be perfect and very handy they were literally five pounds each they were super cheap and they're a very decent size so i was happy with them and then honestly the only other thing that i think i got from home sense was just a load of candles and i mean home sense is the best place for candles anyway so if you are on the lookout for things like that then definitely go there they will have a lot so i got a couple from this range i'm not sure what the brand is called i think it's dw home maybe so i got this one which is lavender and chamomile i thought this would be perfect for like when you get in the bath this is like the perfect scent it's so relaxing anything lavender i just love and then i also got this one which is a stress relief candle and again it smells really nice it smells like a spa so this is eucalyptus and spearmint as you can probably see i did accidentally dip it in the lavender candle so excuse the bit on the bottom i do need to clean it but that is what this one looks like it just has a little cork stopper in the top which is cute again i thought that might look nice in the bathroom and then obviously you can light that when you're having a bath or something but this one is again from dw home this is just the vanilla bean candle i've been burning this today and i absolutely love it brad thinks it's way too sweet which is why i've kept it in my office but it just reminds me of the yankee candle like I think it's the vanilla cupcake or is it christmas cookie it smells like kind of both of those scents and then the final one that i got is this massive one here which i've been burning today as well actually just in a different room this smells a lot fresher it's very kind of fruity it's called lava i'm not sure what kind of scent it's meant to have it doesn't say anything on it really to do with like the scent but it smells great this is probably one of my favorites actually and these are all very strong smelling like when you kind of burn them in the room and you go back into the room you can definitely smell them so yeah that i think oh i got one more thing from home sense actually so the only other thing that i managed to find is this little mirrored tray which is great because i have been looking for one of these for a while for the kind of like footstool in the lounge i just wanted something that i could put a candle on and i've also got that little h&m vase the kind of circular ceramic one so i have just put this in the lounge with that on top and also a white company candle which i'll show you now um i grabbed that one whilst we were in cambridge as well and yeah it just looks really nice in the middle obviously you can use these for basically anything you can obviously put drinks on them if you wanted to so they are just a great little accessory to go on kind of fabric footstools like that because obviously there's no flat surface to put our drinks on so i thought this would be super handy and it was super inexpensive i want to say it was like 15 pounds maybe i have taken the label off but yeah obviously with it being home sense it really was not a lot but that is all we got from there i was just hoping to come away with more stuff like i kind of wanted to find an office chair and maybe a couple of sideboards or something but they just didn't have that stuff so that is all we got for now i think we will probably try again once they have more stock in and like their new season stuff but then yesterday i actually went shopping again and i just went to norwich i literally just went to like the range i went to b&m and also matalan so i did find a couple of things so in b&m first of all i got this which is upside down obviously it's not in this box anymore but it's the little clothing rack that i have in my office it's literally over there so in this video i will show you at some point what it looks like kind of all set up but again this was like 20 25 pounds actually completely forgot i got this in the range so it's not from b&m this is from the range and yeah, it was like 20, 25 pounds. Oh, here we go, 22.99. So 23 quid for a whole rack. And it also has little shelves at the bottom, which are so handy. It's very sturdy. Like I'm so impressed with this. I just wanted something for this room that would be better for halls. Cause I had the kind of like double clothes rail in here and it was great. Like it was very practical, but it was just huge. It was just taking up like literally half the room. So that just looks so much better over there. Like there's not too much space taken up and I'm really happy with it. So yeah. Then also from the range, really randomly, I picked up a laundry basket this is from the brand curver which i always hear people speak about they're just like really good for storage stuff but they have these really nice designs to them so this is their kind of like knitted design i just think it adds something a little bit different to obviously a very basic item so i got this one and i think to be honest all of their stuff is full price so even though this was in the range it was still like 15 pounds i want to say but their stuff is really nice quality and i don't feel like it's going to break at all it's very like sturdy and then i might as well stick to the stuff that i found in the range for now so I grabbed some of their faux flowers, which aren't the most amazing. If you do want really good faux flowers, the ones that I have in my office, which are just on my windowsill, which you actually can't see, um, they look great. And they're from Knot Cuts, which I want to say is a garden centre nationwide. I don't think it's just in Norwich, 
but they are also online so hopefully they have their faux flowers online because they are really good and they're not too expensive because some can just be like extortionate but the range ones aren't too bad so i literally just picked up two of these like eucalyptus sprigs and then i literally just kept it really simple and grabbed two of these big roses they're like two pounds or something for each piece and sometimes they can be like seven or eight pounds for one rose so i just thought i'd get them for now until i kind of invest in some more but then i have just placed them in this vase for now i'm not sure if i'm going to use this for something else and to be honest when i picked it up in the shop i actually thought it was a lot clearer i didn't realize it had this kind of gray tint to it which i don't mind but i just think it would be so much easier to work with if it was completely clear but i picked it up because it has this really nice kind of rib detail on it hopefully you guys can see that and i just thought it was a little bit different but i have just put these faux flowers in it for now and i think i might just place this in the kitchen somewhere i mean definitely needs a bit of work but i obviously need to pick up some more things to go in here and just bulk it out a little bit but yeah i thought this was cute then i think the final thing that i got from the range is these little jars so everything else i got i think is from matalan so i'll move on to that next but i do already have three of these jars from b&m they're just so much smaller and i saw these ones and i thought they were so much nicer from the range they do also have smaller versions of these if you do want smaller ones but i just use these for like sweets on the side or on like some little shelves i just think they look really cute so i've got some malams in here for now i actually need to fill it up a lot more i just think they're so useful even in like a utility room or something you could put like your wash powders in that would be cute they're just a really nice design as well again with the ribbed theme it seems like i'm loving that at the moment but yeah i grabbed three of them i just thought i'd bring one up to show you guys so then finally moving on to matalan which i was actually really impressed with they have loads of cute things in there like especially ornaments and stuff so if you do want little kind of decorative bits for your house then have a look at their home section because it was actually quite good <laughs> the first things i got are these little kind of like glass picture frames i got them in matte black i've seen these everywhere in gold but i haven't really seen this matte black so i was really happy when i found these because they're just going to go with our aesthetic so much more like i say a lot of things i just like to have little matte black details like even with the reed diffuser and stuff i just find black easier to pair with a lot of things so yeah i got one of these square ones which you can kind of put like a collage effect in you could put three images in here or you could print one out to be like the exact same size and then i also got two of these tiny little ones which i thought if you wanted to hang these obviously you can you can just kind of stick a nail in the wall and pop them on but i think i might just stack these all together like kind of on either a sideboard or on some shelves or something i might just lean them up against the wall because so i think they look really cute as like a little freestanding kind of picture frame but yeah i got two of the small ones and two of the bigger ones just really quickly while i remember i did actually just pick this up today from amazon i got it for the clothes rack that is now in my office the one that i just showed you guys from the range um obviously it has shelves at the bottom and i wanted a basket to kind of put my bags in so i've literally just done that and that just sits on there but yeah that was from amazon i feel like i'll forget it if i don't tell you now but the other stuff from matalan is way over here so give me two seconds so i found these really cute little white cushions and i got these for the guest bedroom i think i showed you guys in the last video but i got a load of new bedding for there that's all very neutral but it's more kind of like I'd say like beiges and kind of stone colours so I thought I'd throw a bit of white in there because I want to get a white duvet set for it so I thought these would tie that in really nicely together and these are basically a copy of the white company ones so the white company have a range where they have this kind of embroidered floral detail on them which these literally have obviously they're not the most amazing quality they're from matalan they're not going to be the white company quality so i'm sure one day we might invest in those but i thought for now these would be quite cute and they do look really nice with the other ones so yeah i grabbed two of them i want to say they were maybe 10 pounds each for like the cushion and the cover so i thought that was quite good and then i'm an absolute sucker for blankets at this time of year and in matalan they have a load of these they have a load of different colorways but they're just the softest blanket i've ever felt they are the kind of like teddy bear material this one is reversible so it has a darker kind of more beige side on this side and then it goes into a cream and i mainly bought this for brad's man then because now we've got the sofa in there and we have a lot of movie nights at the moment i just love kind of going in there with this and snuggling up and watching a film it's literally the best thing ever but yeah they have loads of different colors they have more like pinks they have some blue ones and it's just a must at this time of year like it's getting colder we all need a blanket to cozy up with so like i mentioned i did pop into the white company whilst we're in cambridge literally my favorite shop but there's just so many things on their website that i can't them like spending that much for example i want to find some glass jars for the bathroom to put like my earbuds in and my cotton pads and stuff i think they look so cute on the side but they have like the perfect shape the perfect style on the white company and each jar is like 20 pounds i just think for a jar like literally tiny 20 pounds is a lot of money just because it's glass so 
I'm still on the lookout for some that just aren't that much money but I know it's good quality and I know sometimes it is worth the investment and I always hear people raving about this candle especially for like autumn winter time so I thought I'd bite the bullet and treat myself to one so this is the fireside candle which is limited edition and like I mentioned I have just popped this in the lounge on the little glass tray that we have here and this literally smells insane it's so nostalgic to me because my mum and dad have always had like open fires in their house and it just literally smells like you're in a cottage with a little open fire going you sit and having a cup of tea watching a film like that is what this smells like it smells incredible and it also has hints of vanilla to it which just kind of help it to be a little bit more subtle and not like overly smoky but yeah i am really happy i got this it definitely means i'm probably going to invest in more because i do love them yeah love this very happy i did decide to get it and then literally the only other thing that i got from the white company is this which is their kind of like sleep moisturizer i actually got this for my mum for her birthday this year and it smells incredible it smells like you're in a spa and i personally just use it as a hand cream before i go to bed and it just smells amazing and it's like very calming and stuff like that so it's perfect to use when you get out of the bath as well but yeah that is pretty much everything that i've kind of picked up recently oh besides this this is something i forgot to show you ages ago because it is actually from made so we got these with the intention of using them outside Obviously we ordered our garden table and we haven't ordered chairs yet, but we ordered a table um, hoping it would arrive in time for summer, but summer's pretty much over now. So we're obviously gonna just have to use it next year. But we got that from Made, and while we were looking for that, we also found these, which are just like little outside lamps. Oh. Okay, conveniently this one has completely run out of charge, but they're just rechargeable and they literally just glow. So if you pop them on the table, they obviously just create enough light for you to sit out there at night and still be able to see basically. So we got two of them and I just thought they were quite like individual design. I really like them and they are super bright actually. Obviously I can't show you right now, but they do have two settings as well. So they have a dimmer one and also a brighter one. So yeah, that really is everything that I have to show you guys for now. I'm sure I will continue my little home shopping sprees. I've just been finding things here in there i have actually done another h&m home order so i will show you those bits as well they'll probably be in this vlog um because i'm sure they'll arrive pretty soon that is it from me in this little section i just thought i would get around to filming this right now so it was done and i had everything together because i'm now going to go and put this stuff all back in its place again i forgot something else this is very simple but this is just a kitchen roll holder again it was from matalan it was three pounds and we don't have one so that's the one i went for again with the matte black accessories that is definitely the vibe i'm going for oh also on that another thing i'm forgetting i got a little like side table thing for brad's room and that was from b&m it was like 15 pounds it was super inexpensive and we literally just put his popcorn machine on that and it works really well but now i promise that really is it <laughs> so anything else i find i will just include in the video i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog so like i mentioned to you guys i then bought some pampas grass from the same um, Etsy shop that I got the flowers downstairs from and this is like the perfect look I was going for I know this sounds so silly but I was like so picky with which pampas grass I wanted I don't know why but I just felt like some were either a bit too like yellow or a bit too brown some weren't that fluffy like honestly I was actually like being ridiculous but I'm glad I did wait because I love this like I said this is from the same Etsy shop so of course it will be linked with the other ones downstairs and then this pot we actually got from a local garden center I can't remember the brand of it so I will try and find something similar but they obviously have loads of these at the moment a lot of brands are kind of coming out with these like large ceramic floor pots and obviously these just fit perfectly in there so this is currently in my office we are gonna put these upstairs in the bedroom at some point when we've got more furniture up there because again on pinterest i've got so many pins in the bedroom section and it's all like neutral tones that we want to go for and loads of dry flowers again so these will live upstairs but i actually think i might just order some more and have them in both rooms because i do love them but yeah, that is the other thing that I wanted to show you in here. Otherwise, again, this isn't really a room that's changed much. I have actually just taken my prints down from this wall because um, I've been filming a lot in this area because I love how this sofa kind of looks in the background. Obviously, I've got my Dunelm rug, excuse the misguided jumper, and then my sclum little like floor sofa thing here and my footstool from Elena's home and then the mirror here, which like I say, hasn't changed. But yeah, I've been loving this area to film in and I just felt like the prints in the background were a little bit busy. So I have just taken them down for now. But if you guys have seen the other vlogs, you'll know that I really want to kind of change this room up again. Um, just buy some new furniture. Like I want to switch out this for something different, get like a nice sheepskin kind of chair for here at like a really cute vanity. And then 
excuse all the clothes this is highly embarrassing i need to put all this stuff away but i'm also on the lookout for a new desk so yeah this is all going to change quite a lot this is the rail that i recently got from the range and anytime i'm doing a haul i just put all my clothes on here so they're kind of like out the way and ready for me to film with um because i do do a lot of hauls on this channel if you guys are familiar with those um this is a misguided one that will be coming very soon there is so much in it like i literally have so many clothes here to show you guys so yeah that has been a perfect addition to this room yeah that's my office pretty boring because i don't really have too much to tell you in here oh one change that i do have is i am going to go for laminate flooring in here i think i touched on that in the last vlog um and showed you guys pictures of the one that i want to go for but i am excited to do that i'm going to rip all this up and start that very soon i just kind of want like a free week to do it so i can just get it done like all in one week and not have to come back to it so i think i'm going to do that soon and that can be my next little project which i'm excited about but yeah that is this room i'm trying to think really if there's anything else for me to update you guys on obviously in the last vlog you saw the garden which is currently oh my god such a mess so the boys still need to finish this as you can see there's two tiles missing i think they ran out of sand for the cement so we need to get some of that and then they also need to build the step here but it's kind of demotivating because the weather is just so horrendous right now obviously we can't really sit out there like there's no point in getting it finished in a rush we can kind of do it whenever and our garden table finally arrived so i'm not sure how well you guys can see so down here the lounge is like just inside from here and this is where we're going to have like our kind of outside dining area so we've got like an eight seat a table from made.com again um that arrived the other day and that is going to be for there but again it's not really the weather to be sitting outside and eating your dinner so we've just stored that in the garage for now i need to find some chairs for that actually but again i'm just gonna wait until it's a bit brighter but yeah that's it really that's outside nothing has changed apart from this tree has just dropped all over the grass which is kind of a nightmare when it is stormy weather that is just going to be the bane of our lives i bet but we've both been so busy we've not really focused on the garden at the moment but i'm sure we will get around to sorting that mess out very soon but yeah i feel like i might round today's vlog off here guys so i'm going to set you back on the windowsill and talk to you properly rather than this mirror situation i'm really sorry for this angle and the fact that my laptop literally sounds like it's about to take off you are on my stomach right now so you're kind of getting like a bird's eye view point of view i don't know what's the word like this is why I'm seeing you guys are seeing it too, if that makes sense. So, if you guys have seen the other vlogs, you will know that I keep banging on about needing to get blinds. And I've had a couple of questions because I mentioned this website a little while ago. It's blinds to go There we go. Um, Brad's mum actually used these for their house and their blinds are really nice. And they basically make them all to measure. So you can just come on here and like, we want, I think we want wooden blinds. Um, just like your bog standard kind of like slap blinds I just think they'll look really nice in every single room like they're easy they're just classic you know so I think I'm gonna go with these um, but today at some point I'm gonna measure all the windows because we measured them and then wrote down like the measurements for every single window and obviously in the move that piece of paper has just disappeared so I need to do that again and then I can finally order some blinds I'm desperate to get some for my office because that blind is in the back of every single video. Let me just show you an example of what I mean. Because it's just ruining my vibe, you know. I don't want to see this blind. This blind. I don't want you in my videos anymore. You're really starting to annoy me. So, yeah. Desperately need to get some blinds. But I just thought I'd mention this in case you are moving too. And you want, like, a good blind website. Most boring part, probably, about renovating a house and one of the most expensive because obviously we've got a fair few windows in this house and I'm going to have to buy blinds for every single one all at one go. So this is another job that I'm definitely going to get around to. Let me just show you some of my Pinterest while we're here. I haven't been on it in a while, you know. Usually I log on like every single morning and find things that I love the look of. That's cute for the lounge. I will leave my Pinterest linked if you do want to follow me. It is literally just my name so you can probably find it but yeah i just love this for inspiration we're trying to find a lot of things for the bathroom at the moment um especially the cloakroom and then like our bathroom upstairs because i think they're going to be two rooms that we'll probably do quite soon because obviously they don't need too much doing to them um but yeah okay i'm really getting carried away here let me just save this and then we can look at my board so oh that's what i was going to talk you guys through was the bathroom okay so upstairs I might be able to just talk you through like using my Pinterest boards. So apologies that you're just kind of staring at my screen right now. But basically, 
we are knocking a wall down in the bathroom to be able to fit a bath in there because in our ensuite at the moment we just have a shower which is so fine but I do love the thought of having like a proper bath in our bathroom I'm such a bath person when I feel like it so anyway we're gonna knock a wall down and then it basically means we're gonna have a space like this so we're gonna have a slanted wall um, where the bath is going to go underneath so that will be on the left hand side as you walk in so that wall is coming down we'll then have this we're going to put a velux window up there and then we're going to have the bath in that corner of the room and then across the back wall we're going to have a double sink so it will be something like i really like this vibe i'm loving this kind of wood at the moment especially with all the grays because i do want everything else to be gray and we were going to go for all these black fixtures but brad's granddad has advised us against them because apparently they're so hard to keep clean and we've got quite hard water here so the lime scale is just horrendous um and apparently you'll literally just end up replacing them but yeah across the back wall we're going to have something like this so basically like a massive white unit with the sinks in the middle like his and hers type sinks and then a massive mirror above it and then i quite like these indented shelves so i want something like that and then the shower we are going to have a double shower um, so it's got two shower heads in it which is going to be nice like this it will probably look like with a um just like a glass screen in front so we'll have a double shower two controls a indented shelf again like that in the wall and that yeah will hopefully be the bathroom when we have written up some more plans or i suppose even when we start that project obviously i'll be able to show you guys so much more um and in detail but yeah i thought while we're on here i might as well quickly explain that hopefully it made a bit of sense um but then also we do need to sort out the cloakroom so i really like this idea because this is literally the shape of our cloakroom it's just like a long quite small room so i kind of want a shelving unit with some baskets on and then a sink on the top and then a nice circular mirror i think i have a whole board for the cloakroom actually so like this i just like these kind of floating shelves and then the big mirror um brad wants to do a feature wall in there so we are thinking like maybe one of these wallpapers and yeah, I suppose that's kind of vibe again. I'm not sure when we're going to get around to those, but um, hopefully soon. We definitely do want to start the actual renovation soon and just kind of make this house a lot more our home, if that makes sense. So we will see. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit rambly. Just wanted to show you some updates because I did say in a video recently that I don't feel like I'm picking up the camera enough in terms of the home stuff. But like I always say, we're just really not in a rush with it. And when we are busy with other things, it's quite nice to know that we don't have to like get things done here super quickly like we can just take our time with it which we've definitely been doing and like I said it just means that I'm not like constantly focused on the house I have a lot of work bits going on and a lot of exciting things planned like a podcast which is coming very soon there's a little sneak peek um but yeah there are just multiple things that I'm working on at the moment and the house has been put on hold for a little bit which is so fine like I say it's nice when you own a place and you don't have to rush around doing these things and changing things all the time um which also kind of gives you time to like Think about it properly and think how you want to live in the spaces next steps i guess are getting some quotes from like builders for the extension because we have finalized those plans completely i have got a couple of numbers which i'm very excited about um so we need to get some quotes and just kind of shop around with that and then i think we're going to work on the bathroom so obviously if i buy any more home stuff i might do a homeware haul really soon actually I might do a bit of home shopping and then just do like a dedicated homeware haul especially for like autumnal bits that sounds like a plan so I might do that very soon but then otherwise in terms of like the home stuff I'll probably just pick you up when we've got something exciting going on I guess but yeah I'm sure in like vlogs and stuff you'll see things here and there and see like some little sneak peeks but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching today's video and as always I will speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys <laughs>